Well, I guess we better show off the new toy. It has been no secret for a long time. Every time I'd see this thing sitting on the side of the road going towards Cloverland, the George Creek area, this thing sat right alongside the road, as far as anybody knows, for the last 30 years. Well, and I seen it, and I had to have it. I wanted it, and I told Levi that. So, I come home, I'm up here dicking around. I was about ready to go in the house, take a shower. I'd been out here working on this. Yeah, I'm working on that. Getting ready to go on and take a shower, and my phone starts blowing up. I start getting pictures. I get message says, "Oh, on my way over to talk with them and see if see what they want for that, because he lives right down the road from his house." Next thing I get is pictures of him dragging this cocksucker down the road with no tires on it <laughs> down the down the damn street with the forklift. Taking it back to his house, and naturally I jumped in the pickup. Took a couple tires. Took me a couple tries to get the right size tires, but we got some tires on her. And hell with her, I just drug her home, just as you see her. And it was covered in yellow moss. Been sitting on some trees. I guess you can kind of see a little of it up here. But I had done scraped her all off and, and uh, checked this body. This body does not have rust, but there is rust in two spots. Right along here on the bottom, on both sides. And that's it. And this was used for storing logging equipment, I guess, back in the old and golden days. But this thing is sweet, and I got her cleaned out. Uh, rats. This thing was full of rats. Probably 30 years worth of rats. Rats nest, rat shit, chewed up shit, wires and shit. All this here, this pile of wire, and hydraulic hoses and everything else, and these tarps, I don't know if that's a tent or a tarp, and I think it's a tarp. And this, whatever the hell. And odds and ends, it was full of shit like this here. This is all come out of there. Shovel heads and propane, or well, that's an air tank. Yeah, that's an air tank. And just all kinds of stuff like that. We won't throw away, we'll keep it and use it someplace. Nuts and bolts, lots of lots of bolts and nuts and washers. But it took it took me a full day. I took a two hour break and went to the river and fed cows. Other than that, all I've done today is clean this son of a bitch out and scrub the moss off of her. But it's pretty sweet, I'll tell you what. I mean, them doors open nice, and it's clearly, it was red at some point. I don't know what that means, but it has, has bracketry here. There would have been something here, something on each side, but up here on the front, it's got this stripe that goes clear across there had been something here too and it had been rolled and I don't know anything about it I don't know if it was a rescue vehicle or some kind of fire engine type or fire department shit I don't know I have no idea I don't know if it was rolled as a service vehicle or if it was decommissioned and then somebody bought it and rolled it I, I don't know I have no idea I know it's a 50, 50 GMC. And I'll tell you, this thing was really hooked up. It has a, a, a gadget here. 
I don't know if that went to a buzzer or a light. Let you know your door was open. But that's pretty cool for something from 1950. And these doors, they're cool. They, they got this latch so they stop right there. Or they'll go clear around like that. Both of them do that. I don't know what what that means, but this thing's got about four layers of paint on it. Well, I'd say three. I see. Well, I see some blue. I see some black. We got the white and the red. So, about four colors on here. So, and that I suppose probably saved it from being a total rust bucket. Right here is the worst spot. Yeah, that's the worst spot. Got a different door on here. I bet you probably, the old one probably flew open and crunched when it was rolling. Got a busted window and you know, whatever. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Plugs, point thirty. I didn't notice that. Points. I can't. I can't tell what that is. I should get some oil on it. And re There's a number there. Hell, I can see it better in the camera than I can see it in my own eyes. I'll be down. I just now noticed that. That's pretty cool. Well, it had a straight six in it. 235 I suppose and then they just took and somebody built a trailer out of it which is all right I guess for if you're into that kind of thing it's just neater than shit you wouldn't believe the kind of looks I get dragging this thing around I've had two offers already what do I, that people asking what I want for it. So I just got it, man. I got to play with it first. I don't know if I'll get rid of it. I'm kind of attached to it. I want to set it right here outside the door of my shop there. Store some things in it, get the window, get a window in it. And just, just use it for that. Somebody cut the dash and that's a shame, but you know, it's, it is what it is. And for what I'm going to use it for, I'm not going to complain. And if I can find the front end for it, there's good possibility that I might build something out of this someday. Because I have wanted this thing for a long time, and I didn't expect to get it. I did not. But I'm pretty happy with it. It's pretty cool. So it's just another addition to the family here. And I'm going to try and knock some dance out of it and try and straighten it up a little bit. And yeah, so just put some stuff in it keep it around until I find some parts to put it together or somebody offers me something I just can't refuse but I love the look of that that is just cooler than hell I can't believe we ended up with this thing but anyway I had to show her off so maybe we'll do an update on her sometime but until something else happens We'll see you next time.